Well, this is a surefire way to ruin your dream vacation plans. You get everything set up to travel abroad and your passport does not arrive on time. Let's make sure this nightmare never happens to you. Debbie Posey is here to talk about the Apply Early campaign. It is part of September actually being Passport Awareness Month. And we were just talking about all of the uh, things that have happened to <laughs> us and our own, you know, our life, own stories, yeah. our li life experiences. So this is so important. And so we want to talk about how long does it actually take to get your passport? Because this could be something someone needs to deal with today. <laughs> it is. It is. It, routine processing takes six weeks from the time you apply. You can pay an extra $60 and get your passport within three weeks. If you're traveling within two weeks, you can apply at one of 26 passport agencies around the country. Country, but you need an appointment to do that and you have to show proof that you are traveling within that two-week period and um, passport book costs for an adult $135 plus if the $60 expedite fee if you need it sooner than three weeks for a child it is $105 for the passport card which has limited it has some restrictions on it it costs $55 for an adult and forty dollars for a child. Okay. I mean there's so much to talk about today. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure we cover it all. But one thing that I was sharing with you on the commercial break is I've actually had my passport run out. It you know, it's important to know that mm -hmm. once you have a passport, that's not the end of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they do expire. So how long are they valid for? Um, for adults, both the card and the book are good for ten years. For children they're good for fives. Uh, one thing to um, note is that there are some countries that you need six months validity left on your passport before you go to those countries. And if you need to know, it, they want you to have six months left on your passport before you fly into those countries. So what you need to do is, if you're, um, before you go on your trip, check our website out, travel.state.gov. There's a tab you can click on for international travel and um, check out how long do you have to have left on your passport. You don't have to have, there's no limitation on when you can apply for a renewal on your passport. So even if you have a year left on your passport, there's no problem with applying for it early. That was actually, applying for renewal. That was actually going to just be a personal mm -hmm. question. Yes. <laughs> I, was yeah. myself, when, yeah. when I got engaged, that was the first thing we did is we went and looked at our passports because, of course, we'll have a honeymoon coming up and we wanted to make sure we were both current. Right. But I, did, I was going to ask, is there any particular time in order for us to renew? So that, thank you for that one. Um, but also, yeah. we also talked during the commercial break. I said, I feel like we're talking about this a lot more after the law changed and people needing their passports now to go into Mexico. And I think that maybe some people still are not sure how that works. Right. In 2007, the law changed. The Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative was implemented. And what that meant was that anybody, a, a U.S. citizen traveling from anywhere in the Western Hemisphere, which is Mexico, Canada, certain, and the Caribbean, they needed a, a document to prove their U.S. citizenship before they travel back into the United States. And that's when the U.S. passport card was born. Mm -hmm. And um, so in order to travel back into the United States, you do need a passport. Prior to that, you didn't. You could just use a birth certificate or another type of identification or another document. So that's why it's much more in the news now. So that's a lot more people that need an approved travel document to come into the U.S. Right. And so I'm so glad you cleared that up. Now, I know we're running out of time, but I do quickly want to touch on the fact that there are differences between the book and the card. So yes. maybe tell us what those restrictions are on the card. It's uh, very simple. The book will take you anywhere in the world by any means. The passport card, you can't fly with it. Okay. So it's only designed for land and sea travel within the Western Hemisphere. So it's um, land and sea travel, Mexico, Canada, Caribbean, certain Caribbean islands. Absolutely. And then we have something coming up so that people can go ahead and register early for that passport. Absolutely. On Saturday at the Western Passport Center, 7373 East Rosewood Street here in Tucson, we have our annual once a year annual event, eight o'clock to two o'clock, no appointment necessary. And once a year, we waive the $60 expedite fee only. All other passport fees apply, of course, but walk up. You can apply for your passport. We have passport specialists that can answer any of your passport questions. So Excellent. stop on by. Debbie, thank you so much. We're gonna make sure mm -hmm. our viewers get all that information. Okay. And I wanna thank you for clearing up all those things for us. We needed it.
Okay, thank we'll you. We'll see you next time. And you are invited to attend the Passport Fair taking place this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. No appointment is necessary and routine and expedited service is available. For more information about passport requirements, forms, and fees, you can call 1-877-487-2778 or visit travel.state.gov.